let's face it, COVID-19 is part of our lives. The days ahead are going to be challenging and you can become an important part of the solution. Our health services are going to be overwhelmed as we prepare for this outbreak to run its course. So the goal now is to slow the spread of COVID-19 so it doesn't overwhelm emergency services. That includes EMS. Before you call 911, ask yourself, is this really an emergency? If you are facing a life-threatening emergency like chest pain, serious breathing difficulty, stroke, trauma, seizure, or other serious conditions, please make sure you call 911. These conditions are life-threatening and must be addressed as quickly as possible without delay. But for minor injuries, ask yourself, is an emergency department necessary? And do I need an ambulance to get there? Are other transportation options available? Can my injury be addressed in urgent care or even by my primary care provider? If you are under the age of 60, are not diabetic, are not pregnant, and do not have a history of lung or heart disease, are not immune compromised, and do not have a history of hypertension, and are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, contact your primary care provider. Keep in mind that the typical EMS call runs about 90 minutes, from the moment you call 911 to the moment the ambulance is prepped, disinfected, and back in service for the next call. Fire crews also need time to prep for the next call. Decontamination equipment, much like personal protection equipment or PPE, is in critically short supply. Every time an ambulance is dispatched on a minor emergency, that puts one less ambulance out there for more life-threatening emergencies in your community. We are in this together, and we need you to be a part of the team as we face this challenge together. So be a part of the solution. You can learn more by going to the Clark County Public Health website, and that URL is on your screen.